These days, we spend a lot of time in front of screens, big and small. With devices more connected than ever, small screens can lead to big problems. Our devices are always connected, meaning hackers anywhere can steal your data. But you can stop them. With a few simple behaviors, you can stop hackers and secure your screen. Hi, I'm Keetron Evans, VP of Portfolio Product Strategy at InfoSec. Hacking is serious business, and hackers know how to make it big at the box office. In 2022, consumers were defrauded nearly $8.8 .8 billion, and that number is only going up. And now AI makes it easier than ever to write fake emails, giving hackers a starring role in your email inbox. But you don't have to sit there and watch as your data is stolen. Together, let's take a look at some recent hacks and you'll see what you can do to make hackers' next fish a flop. Earlier this year, hackers targeted the social media platform Reddit with the phishing attack. They sent messages that pushed Reddit employees to a clone of Reddit's intranet gateway. When an employee logged into the fake gateway, the hackers stole their credentials and used them to access internal information. Fortunately, the fished employee told Reddit and the leak was fixed, but not before hackers made off with 80 gigabytes of compressed employee data. This could have been avoided had the employee played closer attention to something as simple as an email. Instead, Reddit ended up on a hacker's highlight reel. More than 20 million people use Slack to communicate with their coworkers. But what happens when Slack itself gets hacked? This year, hackers stole Slack employee password tokens and broke password controls. They did this through brute forcing, a technique where hackers try every possible combination of characters until they find the correct password. Once the hackers were in, they downloaded Slack's code repositories. With that code still out there, we could steal SQL to this breach. Artificial intelligence has been making headlines lately, but not all those headlines are good. The makers of popular chatbot ChatGPT recently announced that they had been breached, exposing users' personal data and credit card information. OpenAI released open source code, which included unpatched bugs. The hackers were able to exploit a bug in that code. From there, they were able to view users' chat history and access payment information before that bug was patched. It's fixed now, but was certainly a plot twist for this emerging technology. So what can you do to protect yourself and others. First, look out for phishing attacks. If you get an email asking you to do something like log in, confirm that it's real by contacting the sender through a different channel. Second, use long, strong passwords. The longer, the better. Or use a passphrase, which is a sentence that's easy to remember but hard to hack. Don't reuse passwords across websites and be sure to store your password securely. Third, update your devices. Software updates often contain fixes for bugs and errors that hackers could exploit. Don't save hackers a seat next to you by putting off an update. Fourth, use multi-factor authentication. MFA uses multiple factors to authenticate who you are. So even if a hacker steals your password, they still can't get in because they don't have all your factors. Finally, if something happens, tell your organization. A small mistake can turn into a major breach if you don't report it. If you think you clicked on a phishing link, report it to your manager or security team right away. Whether it's on the big screen or your screen, hackers can make a scene. They want your information and they know how to get it. But you can stop them by thinking carefully and securing your screen. You can keep yourself and your organization safe.